Hello everyone, welcome to the Plus One YouTube channel. My name is Niket Shah. The topic we are discussing in today's video is about lightning protection system. By the end of the video, you will learn what is lightning protection system, components of the lightning protection system, materials used for making lightning protection system, why earth pit is required, difference between earth pit and earth inspection housing. If you find this video meaningful, please don't forget to like it and share it. What is a lightning protection system? I'll explain it very simply. So the lightning protection system is a system that protects the building and the people living in the building from the lightning strike. During the monsoon season, there are a lot of lightning strikes. So to prevent any damage, there's a system which is called the lightning protection system. I'll explain the working of the system through an animation. Imagine this as your house and there are blinding lightning strikes in the sky. If the lightning strikes at your house, it can cause heavy damage, can catch fire and it will be a great threat to the people living in the building. It causes great damage and I'm sure you guys must have seen it on news and videos. To be safe from this, there's the light protection system. As you can see in the house, there are rods and a few cables attached. These cables are copper cables and then there's grounding protection system. As soon as the lightning strikes on the house, with the help of the rods and cables, it's been directly sent to the ground. This system is called a protection system or a lightning protection system. In simple words, when the lightning strikes from the sky due to the rods and cables, it's been sent to the ground. And because it's been sent to the ground, the house and the people living in it are now secure. Hence, this system is quite popular and is extremely effective on huge buildings. Along with this, it has proven to be more than adequate on the solar panels as well. If you have installed solar panels on the roof of your buildings, that also needs protection from the lightning strikes. This system is also installed next to the solar panels. Either by having the lightning rod or the copper rod, one can create the lightning protection system. The material used for making the lightning protection system, I'll explain the different kinds of materials which are used. Basically, the first thing that we require is a lightning rod. As you can see on the top, that's the lightning rod. Where the lightning rod is set up, the base needs to be the mounting base. With that, you need a copper cable and to tighten the cable to the wall, you require cable straps. The most important element of the system is the grounding. In grounding, there's a ground rod which is also known as the copper rod or the copper plate. However, for lightning protection, the copper rod is not as effective as the lightning rod. There's also something like a clamp and grounding, which I'll explain in detail later. All these materials are used for the lightning protection. The lightning is formed in the sky, cause too much of the positive and negative charges. The lightning strikes on the roof of our building. So with the help of the lightning protection system, the rods attract the lightning towards them. It does not purposely attract, but as you can see, as soon as the lightning strikes on the roof, it's been transferred to the ground immediately, resulting in grounding. This was a lightning protection system. Before I talk about the components of the lightning protection system, or the components of the rod, just want to share that we have started many online courses such as 
AutoCAD 2D animation and 3D animation, electronics, electrical, mobile repairing, laptop repairing and many more like this. To avail such courses, you will have to download an app on your mobile called Plus Point Training, available on Google Play Store. If you want to learn on a computer or a laptop, please visit www.pluspoint.com. By visiting this website, you can easily learn the courses. To know more details, please send a hi on the WhatsApp number mentioned. You will receive all the details about the courses on WhatsApp. Now let's get started with the components of the lightning protection system. The first one is the copper rod lightning protection system. In the copper rod, also there are various components and each one has its own fundamentals. This is the rod made out of copper in which you can see the spikes attached. In buildings, these copper rods are installed in different areas and also the topmost part. These copper rods combined with the copper plates which are the copper strips that are attached to the ground. So if there's any lightning strike, the copper strip helps the lightning to go in the ground for the grounding. This system is known as the copper rod system. But this system has become quite outdated. The latest technology is ESE lightning protection system. ESE is also known as an ionizing lightning rod and an active lightning rod. The lightning protection system is developed as per the modern technology. You must have seen in this system that the copper rod has been set up on the top with the copper strip attached to the ground. As you can see, there are multiple copper rods attached on the roof of the building. But with this modern and innovative technology system, with just one rod, the work can be completed. There's a small circuit in the rod. One part of it is facing the ground and the other is facing the top. As the weather gets worse, it gets charged and once the lightning strikes, it gets discharged and transfers the entire energy into the ground. Let me explain this with the help of animation. In this animation, you can see a lightning rod which is also called an active lightning rod. One part of the rod is facing towards the ground and the other to the sky. As the weather becomes worse, it charges itself. As you can see the weather getting worse, there's a spark getting formed in the cloud. And also on a lightning rod, they're sparkling. As soon as the lightning strikes, the rod attracts the lightning towards itself and transfers it to the ground. This process is called the ESE lightning protection system. This is a great technology. I won't get into the depth of it. However, I've tried to cover every aspect of it. Here you can see that both the systems have one thing in similar, which is grounding, which includes inspection pit and ground rods. Copper strips will remain common only, but the top rod as discussed will be different. Let's discuss in detail the most important and mutual element of both the systems, which is grounding. Let's understand first, why is the earthing system required? We've understood until now that grounding is the most essential part of the lightning protection system. The reason it's so important is when the lightning strikes in earthing, around 300 million volt and 30,000 amps of current is spreading. With so much high voltage spreading, it's likely to cause great damage. To prevent any damage, your earthing system needs to be appropriate. If I talk about the lightning protection system, the earthing is kept away from the electrical system. There's a separate earthing done. A separate structure is formed because in earthing, there's huge electrical charge, like the lightning sparks which have around 30,000 amps of current supply and high voltage which needs to go into the earth without any leakage. To achieve this, we need our earthing system to be apt. If I talk about the earthing in detail, there are few components of the earthing system as well. 
earth as in the soil needs to be good. Earthing rod, there's a copper rod which helps in earthing. Lugs and few cables which are attached to the rods. Copper strips are attached through which the earthing can be done at a distance. In the lightning protection system, we saw that the earthing gets conducted in these copper strips. If we talk about electrical earthing, then there's a copper wire attached to it. Other than these, there's a chemical compound which is also known as earth compound which keeps the rod and the earth gentle and also enhances the conductivity. The most important component is earth inspection housing. The reason I'm focusing this much on this part is because it's the only place to check between the lightning protection system and the earthing. We can check from this if our earthing is proper or not. That's why it's so important for the earth inspection housing to be appropriate. Now, let's discuss about the difference between the earth pit and earth inspection housing. I'll explain it in simpler words. So the earth pit is regarded as the starting point of the earthing. When you dig a deep hole in the ground, around 10 to 20 meters, depending on the requirement to develop earthing, that is called the earth pit. Earth inspection housing is referred to as the ending point of the earthing. Once the earthing is done, the upper part is called the earth inspection housing. According to the ISI 3043 standard, the earth pit is made up of a lot of components, whereas earth inspection housing is only one part of the earthing system. Furthermore, once you dig up a hole in the ground, your earth pit is formed which is a static part of the earth, but earth inspection housing is an active component. Once the earthing is done, you won't dig up the hole again, but we'll have to keep checking the earthing system every two to four months. Therefore, you will have to keep opening the earth inspection housing to inspect the earthing system. Allow me to go more in detail. So the bottom side of the earth bit where you've inserted the rod in the ground, the connection between the rod and soil needs to be strong for which we add few chemicals. Once the lightning strikes, it should rapidly absorb the lightning within a few seconds. If not, it can lead to property damage. Therefore, the rod needs to be stuck in the soil firmly, whereas the top side of the rod, which is inside your housing inspection pit. From the top side, only we can check if the earthing is functional. We can be 100% sure of the working rate of the earthing only when we check at regular intervals. Imagine you have created earthing without the earth pit and the earth inspection housing, you will find your earthing rod at some different place with your wires hanging strangely. Maybe someone has cut your wire or due to some construction, the plates have disappeared. To avoid such situations and to maintain the earthing system, we develop the earth inspection housing system. The last difference between them is that the earth pit is developed with specific standards and conditions, whereas the earth inspection pit is developed depending on the specification of the earth pit. I hope you have understood the difference between the earth pit and earth inspection housing. In today's video, we learned what is lightning protection system, components of the lightning protection system, materials used for making a lightning protection system, why is earth pit required, difference between earth pit and earth inspection housing. I hope you liked this video and if you did, then please like and share this video. To know anything about the online courses, one can just WhatsApp me hi on my WhatsApp number. They would receive all information necessary. Also, mention in the comments if you would like to see any other video or if there are any problems. And if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe by pressing the bell icon and you will receive a notification when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for listening.